Good morning, Pop Pops Bees. Our honey warmer. We had to back up put on the uh, heater that we originally tried in there. Burned it up. We've got our, our thermometer and everything hooked up, our fan. We put 12 cases of honey in this thing Sunday afternoon. And this, a lot of this honey came off of cotton. So it was, it was pure tea, solid. That was Sunday afternoons when that was put in there. She's just as clear as a bell, ready to be sold. All of this was already sold. It's not my money anymore. Uh, one of our, our biggest customers... He bought all this so he would have some before we pulled honey this year so he'd be able to sell it. But it, it didn't take it long. That one there is not quite 100% clear yet, but it's getting there. So we're back to light bulbs and a fan. They'll kick on in just a minute. Me sitting here with the door open. I've also got a backup thermometer in there. Of course, we got the thermometer that controls the unit. And then we have the backup thermometer. So everything is rolling along pretty good. I can sit in the office and check the temperature and make sure everything's good out here. So old school sometimes better. So this is just an upscale version of our incubator that we've used as a warmer all winter that's from my personal stock that's what i got left for the year and i mean it worked great i mean it give you double duty out of your incubator if you're breeding queens so we grow queens in here in the summer and during the winter i use it to keep my honey from crystallizing but on an upscale version this is probably where we're there we go we got we got heat on now so there's my lights down in there working just wanted to give you an update. Sometimes old school's better. Because the, the heater really thought it was going to work pretty good, but it didn't. So, backed up, punted, and went back with what we knew. Hope y'all find this helpful. Y'all have a good day. Please like and subscribe. Pop Pops Bees.